Hi there, it's Farmer Brad, and today I wanted to go over the top three things I'm going to be doing to get prepared for winter. Number one is make sure that you have at least a week's worth of food stocked for your animals. In my case, it's going to be mainly chickens. I do have some hay in the barn for the sheep. Yeah, because during the winter time, you may not be able to get to the farm store to get the feed, so make sure that you have enough feed on hand to last at least a week. I'm using a whole grain, non-GMO layer feed for my birds. Currently I have a uh, hundred pounds of feed in this container and they're able to put their head in the side and get it. Now this front one will actually, when, when they try to get feed, it will drop some feed down for the, for the younger ones. Number two is to make sure that your waters are freeze proof. Then as far as keeping the water from freezing, here's my IBC tote that has the heated water element inside and then a water pump pumps the water a thousand gallons per hour through the system and then it comes back into here. So the water is always moving and it's heated and that keeps the chicken water from freezing during the winter time. Now you don't have to go to this elaborate extent but what you, the easiest thing you can do is if you have one of my automatic chicken water buckets, Farm Innovators has a little heated element that you can put inside the buckets to keep them from freezing. Number three is make sure to service a generator if you have one because ice storms can cause power to go out and you may have some vital things during the winter time that need power. So here I have a generator and some of the things that you want to service and, and keep in mind is changing the oil, making sure you have enough gas on hand and also check the spark plugs. I'll go ahead and just double check to make sure that I can fire this up. So you got to make sure that that's on the on position, that the choke is on. All right. I'm getting a reading. And then when I'm done with that, I make sure to shut off the gasoline feed uh, on the side. Make sure that your generators are in good working order because the moment you need it is a moment too late to, to fix it. So in closing, make sure that you have enough feed on the farm for one week. Make sure that your waters do not freeze and make sure that your generator is serviced. Now every farm is different, so what you have to do to prepare for winter might be a little different on your farm. But I thought, at least for me, that these are the top most important for me. At the end of this video, I'll send you over to Andrew's video where he covers the top three things get prepared for winter. Hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.